Welcome back to Nighthawk Gaming. Today we're having a look at uh, a new edition on Xbox Game Pass, Cassette Beasts. So we'll uh, jump into this, have a look. This will be the first 30 minutes. Have a look, see what it's like, and see if there is any interest in playing it past that first 30 minutes. So the first thing we'll do, jump in and have a setting. Have a look at the settings, I should say. Graphics mode, quality or performance. Uh, I'm not sure it'll be too taxing, so we might leave it on quality. Glitch effects enabled. Not sure what that is, but we'll leave it there. Audio, gameplay. Uh, speed run timer, that's an interesting one. So, this is a new game, just while it loads up there. Released on April 26, 2023. For PC and then on May 25th, 2023 for Xbox Series X, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. It is a role playing game. And I believe it is uh, been somewhat compared to pronouns I suppose it's the way of the future um, it does have some elements of a Pokemon to it but obviously with a different graphical style create your character there face mask oh, there you go we'll do that leave it there load her up See what it's like. We'll jump in and see if it's worth putting any extra time in than the initial 30 minutes. And this game by Bitten Studio and published by Raw Fury. So I'm not sure what else uh, the Developers have made Raw Fury a few games going back there. But nothing that really uh, jumps out in terms of anything overly noteworthy. But it does have uh, graphical style, sort of looks like. some of the early Pokemon type games I suppose you know, harking back to almost the uh, Game Boy Advance style I, I would say stage anyway so you got the uh, dash with a B button there but uh, it doesn't last too long as you can see there or you can sort of spam it a little bit I suppose there It is a turn-based uh, turn RPG. I said much in the same mould as some of the earlier Pokemon type games. What's your aesthetic? Spooky or sweet? Um, oof, I'll go spooky. So band sheep, the eerie moans of a wild band sheep at night have led me to believe they are the restless hunted spirits, so a bit of a bio there.
certainly wasn't the most difficult to <laughs> opening fight going around. I'm Kaylee. not. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of odd that you can see down in from two again the dash, but then you just come to a complete stop when it runs out rather than you know, most games sort of just go. You go back to a normal sort of uh, walking pace like that. But it brings you to a dead stop, which is rather annoying, I have to say. It'd be interesting to see how much exploration Oop, can't go in the water clearly. Like to be honest, that's probably one of the first things you have to do when you're playing games, isn't it? Check out whether you can swim, check out whether you can go in the water. So you can see that's obviously where the, the Pokemon sort of reference comes into it. So it looks 
also be sort of bank. So that one's going to cost none, which means you then bank action points for your next turn. So the green bar is your monster, the red bar would be ultimately your human health, I guess. Right. And you see at the top left there, so we've got extra points, so we might try some of these other moves. learning new moves so very very Pokemon like the creature that Kaylee turns into. It's interesting the way that the, the sort of hide things and the camera switches angles and it does it automatically there so rather than having to work out if you can go there it will swivel its way around. the extra moves that you've got there so it hits a whole team so we need to save up our action points for that one. Ooh, that hurt. There's got to be a way that we can restore health in some way shape or form. Let's see, item. Like any of your move sets, there will well, that didn't work well. Doesn't look like we've got any items at the moment that will restore our health, so hopefully we can get something or pick something up. That is kind of assist us there. Or whether in fact when you level up, we'll check that in a moment. Uh, no, it does not appear so. Uh, here we go. sudden she's got an Irish uh, vocabulary there I guess but you do need so you can see resource up the top there 96 wood you need four to rest so fully restores the HP so we've got a couple there that will help 
Um, yeah, as I said, a bit of an interesting concept having a jump button, which the original Pokemon games did not. And obviously a bit of a day-night cycle there. So sharpens and anyone uses that increases the user's melee attack. It doesn't look see it doesn't look or appear that you can save your action points for the next battle so you can see that Kaylee's got four there so we'll check that as we go into the next battle as to whether she holds that over but it didn't really appear so on the first instance so let's have a look no you're back to your two which is slightly annoying I guess so it, it takes away a little bit of I guess uh, strategy in terms of planning out as you're going through the fields here it takes away some of the strategy of planning for that whereas you could sort of save Them for the next battle if you were sort of you know fairly certain that you were going to win the particular battle you're in save them for the next one so that you could start off with a with a um a better attack than just that basic one that uh we're uh, in effect starting with there So you just start in the fog. We'll try the sonic boom there, which I don't think we've tried yet, so. The lights now moot point because there is only one left. See there, it does have a bestiary, bestiary as well. So uh, even down to the numbers, you can see there. So we've had a scroll down. It looks like 120 is the amount that you've got there. So 120 varieties. of enemy that you will come up against in the game itself. Oh, I did have a little quest up the top there that I missed it may have. I have to keep an eye out for that for next time. In the top center of the screen there it had uh, failed. Uh, but I didn't see what it was to start with. Okay. 
Quotes monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Well. So there you go, instead of the Pokeballs, you've got uh, cassette tape, so you record them onto the cassette tape. So there's an interesting um, way of doing it as well that they cannot flee or be defeated. So, you know, with Pokemon you can accidentally do too much damage to them. But if you um, are in the process of recording it onto the tape there, you cannot kill it by the looks of it. So you can get new moves by moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. the attacks that you had there so So you've got to use that in your strategy as well. So you're going to glide across long distance, consumes the stamina, but... Um, and see if it depletes your stamina in the same manner that yes yeah, so they're not as quick up as well. So let's see if we take out this one. And it's a new one there, the dandelion, which we have not come across before. So let's see if we can in fact take this one out by going to See at the top there, it actually because it takes away that 
monster that you've got. So if I start getting attacked as my character, it would appear... There we go. It would appear that it will knock him out. No. So this will be the first uh, boss type enemy, I guess. Level 100, so. I can almost guarantee that we're not going to defeat this. In fact, I can't say it's doing any damage whatsoever. Exactly. What happens when you lose all your power? Uh, your health, I should say.
kind of like the, the green the top thing. So do that again. I reckon that was getting it close to knocking it down. So there we go, we fought our first sort of main boss battle there for Cassette Beasts. Um, that's our first half an hour. Uh, overall thoughts, um, as I mentioned numerous times through the video, it's uh, quite clearly a throwback to the uh, original Pokemon type games and obviously just a variation in how you do it. So instead of the Pokeballs, you've got the Cassette Tapes, you've still got your monsters, you can transfer uh, them as you're playing and you can also um, utilize different movesets etc so and it does have that uh, you know sort of top down uh, look from the Game Boy Advance versions of the Pokemon obviously with the color you could go back the earlier to the Game Boy versions but clearly uh, not in the sepia tone or the black and white uh, black and gray black and green however you want to call it gray and green um, would I keep playing it after the first half an hour I think I'll probably give it maybe another half an hour and see how it goes. Uh, it certainly does have some potential, hasn't quite hooked me yet, but uh, that might just need uh, a bit more time to, to sink its teeth into and see how we go with that. But uh, that will do us here today on Nighthawk Gaming, playing through the first 30 minutes of Cassette Beasts. And if you've uh, enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos on the channel, and if you could like it, and subscribe to the channel would be fantastic it certainly does help and uh, if you've got any questions or comments or games that you'd like to see me play in the future make sure that you drop a comment in below but uh, that'll do us and thanks for watching <laughs>